Shalom, shalom. The second day of the week, so called Monday. I think today might be the 14 or 15, one of them. So we give our glory, praise, and thanks to the Most High Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? And just by walking, thinking, and reasoning, <laughs> let us talk it out loud. Right? Um, so as I said, we give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the conqueror of death. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> the new year starts off with a bang. Right? So basically, I do hope brothers and sisters see footage now of some of the missile <coughs> breach the Jewish Iron Dome. Although they say it was successful, this is that. Just keep in mind, <laughs> they take four to five hours to reach there. So if Iran should attack from Syria or Lebanon or even Yemen, it's in more, it would be gross, grace. It would be way greater. But the question is, Iran claims that they don't want war. So we know it's the most high pushing them on the brink of destruction. And the most high, the scripture tells us when you read Psalms 2, the most high say, put them in derision. Right? So, um, I see in the news where Joe Biden said he will not be part of any Israeli retaliation. Right? Iran also claims if Israel retaliates, the next one will be worse. Anyway, the UN, the secretary from uh, Mali, I think uh, is a white woman, Cracker. I think she called for the UN meeting and all this stuff from Malta. She's from Malta, not Mali, Salakia. The UN secretary from Mar Malta. And she, she called for the meeting. So America, some Jake there, <laughs> some Uncle Tom, <laughs> some Negro, so like Barack Obama. He speak for the American as a UN secretary and he condemn Iran. He said violence gonna be put on Iran and all this stuff. The most of the European Union do the same thing, England. And even England Prime Minister is a damn puppet. Cause he have, he's a Muslim and have Indian background. Right? So he speak condemn. Iran, Russia, UN Secretary speak now. Lick a shot, fat balling man. And he said, how oh, hypocritical, hypocritical the earth the world is. And the leaders are. Russian UN Secretary said, not one country condemn Israel bombing Iranian Embassy in Syria killing 16 of Iranian citizens. So Russia was going on and tell them nobody trying to get to what start the war. Just like in the Gaza. But when they um Hamas retaliate, the entire world we stand with Israel. So Russia was saying the same thing in terms of nobody want to talk about what happened, make Iran did something like that. So here we go, because when Putin invade Ukraine, <coughs> um, Israel president defend Putin. Say so Putin have a right to defend his sovereignty. So now, <laughs> right? So now it's there, we will see. Yeah, so we all will see. Because as I said, as Yahweh I said, if Satan turn against Satan, the kingdom is crumbling. And this been crumbling a while. For a while. So Russia is Iranian 
number one alliance now and back them in terms of Putin said they have all right to defend themselves. Because if anybody do that to a Russian embassy, Putin said they will feel the full wrath of Russia. France was there looking stupid. The British was there looking stupid. That American coon, Uncle Tom, he was there looking retarded. You understand me? So now, China was just smiling. <laughs> because China watched for years. And China watch all the Edomites people, the Europeans. They do what they feel like to do on the earth. So as I said, we're into a new year. So-called 2024. So you know what's going to happen now? It's going to be China's turn to take Taiwan. When? Month, daytime, China will take Taiwan? I don't know. But it's time now, China said. China going to say. We're going to take back our territory. Right? China going to say we're going to take back our territory. So America and England, somebody going left behind. Because they cannot be supporting Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, and all their interests in the world. So someone going left behind. So that's why um, even Joe Biden came out and said, if Israel retaliates against Iran, America will not be part, which is a damn lie. Because, listen, I was there. Those Israeli people scared as hell. Every, the least little thing happened in that country, the airport full. They're running away. So we were there. But we all, the prophecies that coming to pass, brace yourself. It's like a movie. This is what's happening now. Because the most I tell you in Psalms 2, second chapter, you have all the leaders in derision. And for that sake, we thank the most I for remember us. Just like the most I tell Moses, I hear my people cry. When did the most I tell Moses that? In the spring season, in the time of Passover. And the most I said, Moses, go deliver my people. So we understand that. We understand that this month, this time, this season is a month, time and season for deliverance for the children of Israel in the four corners of the earth. So you wish I said when you see these things, look up because our salvation is at hand. So Yahweh, we thank you for giving us your word and magnify it. Let us see prophecy fulfilling in our eyes. So brothers and sisters, stay tuned, as I'll stay tuned. And remember your Passover donation, your Passover contribution, your love contribution, or whatever contribution, remember. And keep us in prayer as we keep the entire nation in prayer.